times when I feel like crying. Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya, is home to some of the most diverse and vibrant music styles. <laughs> Music in Kenya has undergone major changes in terms of quality of both music and videos. One thing that has played a key role in revolutionizing the music industry in Kenya is technology. The Kenyan music industry in particular has not been left behind by the technological wave sweeping across. According to Mr. Edward Shesha, a producer at Hitsco Studios Nairobi, technology has brought a lot of changes to the music landscape in Kenya. He explains further on this. I work for Hitsco Studio. Um, I've worked here for six years now. Um, we started when we were a young company, and um, then uh, production houses were fewer, and we didn't have this magnitude of technology we have today. Um, we mostly had uh, analog systems, analog. 24-track uh, recording systems and uh, added recording systems. If we shift our minds some years back, one cannot fail to notice the radical changes that have occurred in the music industry in Kenya, thanks to the advancements in technology. Mr. Peter Kamwaro, a music producer at Anchor Records, gives us an insight into the wonders technology has done to music. Uh, when I came into the industry, I actually met a program by the name uh, FL, Fruity Loop. And uh, right now we're using uh, Logic, which is uh, a bit more powerful, and uh, which is, uh, in terms of clarity, it's way more clear and uh, very easy to work with. As more people listen to music in digital formats, mainly the MP3s, there is no longer need for compact discs. The cassette tape have become obsolete already and CDs are destined for the same. This in turn has led to the decline in the sale of music mainly through CDs, DVDs and cassettes. One thing that comes out clearly is that music in Kenya at the moment is clearly heading somewhere. Blessed Joe expounds more on this. Eh, kuhusu jambo hilo ya videos kutoka zama za kale eh, zama za kale uh, na saa hizi tofauti ni kubwa sana, kubwa sana. Kila kitu ime 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 improve. Uh, kuna equipment zime improve vitu kama camera, uh, kuna skills watu wamekuwa na skills for now na kitambo kulikuwa na watu wamekuwa tumia camcorders watu wako wanajua color correction ni nini unajua eh. watu walikuwa wanafanya tu video kufanya eh. hakuwa na hizo skills mtu yote angeza fanya video but for now kuna hiyo professionalism yeah technology has made the distribution of music very easy Music can be listened by different people anywhere and anytime. Through social networks such as Facebook, Twitter and YouTube, music is reaching more people scattered in different locales within the country. Yvonne, a student at Nairobi University, talks more on this it through um, downloading it through to BD, YouTube. So
so, technology has helped a lot. Um, imesaidia sana kama Facebook, um, Twitter, imesaidia kujua um, the artist wa like wana post kuna album yangu mpe imetokea, kuna song yangu mpe imetokea, hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi. So you go, you get interested, you go, you download it, you listen to it, unaweza comment kama ni poa ama ni mbaya. At least technology imesaidia cause um unaweza interact with your favorite artist and yeah with technology piracy levels in the music industry have increased immensely this in turn leads to massive losses by the owners of the music well my name is flora mutia aka flo i started singing a long time ago way back okay piracy Oh, for example, I do my music, I do um, something good and uh, I wanted to sell. And now I have made my album and uh, distributed to the right people for it to be sold out. But you find someone going out there to the net, to the internet, and they get my music for free. That meaning I won't be able to get something to eat by the end of the day or make more songs, make make myself grow at the end of the day. Yes, there's that problem of piracy. One interesting point to note is that piracy has some positive impacts. This is according to Blessed Joe who argues on this issue. Kulingana na mimi watu wengine huwa wanasema uh, kimziki ukiona watu wa kipiracy mziki yako ni mzuri. Yeah. So uh, na ukiona watu wa piracy mziki yako hawajaipenda. Yeah. Okay, uh, ina mimi naweza sema ni advantage kwa wasani. Eh, si si mbaya kama piracy iko acha watu wa pirate because you can't fight that technology has also its own negative effects to music production as mr shesha explains i'm seeing like uh, it's making people lazy um, you don't need to go to school to study sound because most of the things you'll find with the production applications which make people unable. If we go by this trend, we'll find that probably in the next 10 years we'll have people who do not know what sounds, what is all about sounds. Sound is, is, is a, an element which has so much to do with the, 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 the music production. And if we, we, we look keenly, we realize that uh, we may end up having a beautiful industry with the very bogus engineers because they do not have knowledge in sound. People don't encourage themselves to go to school to train or things like that. Uh, <laughs> Everything has its own challenges, and technology is not an exception. I say just learning, learning how to use the 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 the, the program that you're actually um, uh, having, and uh, also getting to master. One major challenge is in the concept of cost of cost of uh, investment. Yeah. Now those who invested earlier used enough funds to, to, to invest, to buy equipment, to, 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 to store the, the studio. But um, with new technology, uh, one may not need all these things. With the advent in technology, the future looks bright for the music industry in Kenya, which has evolved over some time. Technology is here, and it's up to us to embrace it for the production of quality music.